Welcome to the channel. I have a privilege of presenting to you the Watch 5. So this is the Watch 5 base model. Let's just get right into the box. Yeah, so I have the pink one here and this is the base 40 millimeters size one. Yeah, it's amazing how this watch has been produced directly like it was from last year's model. But this time around, you have a temperature sensor in this one. So hopefully we'll get to see new functions from this temperature sensor. Yeah, otherwise it performs same as last year's with uh, a little bit more of battery life in this so i did, really did a comparison between the time the battery lasted on watch 4 classic and the time it lasted on watch 5 and the watch 5 really had a prolonged life battery life so if you're really into battery life then this would be a reasonable upgrade but if you're not and then it's quite, you know, difficult to recommend this if you already have the Watch 4 or Watch 4 Classic. However, if you don't have and you're looking to get any of these watches, this watch is equally very good and functional. So it has similar functions, including blood oxygen level, ECG, you know, and you have different watch faces and all that so let's go to the functions now so you can set up your google as well you can have different watch faces which when you press for instance then it gives you different ones to use so you can pick from different versions of the watch face and all those uh, should should work nicely for you yeah and uh you can track your steps and a whole lot of activities so if you come into this you see all the activities that it supports and it's a lot so walking other workout cycling planks yeah it's a lot of exercise so you just you know set up the ones you really want to do and it, it take care of it I mean, sometimes you don't even need to set it up before you start the exercise. Once you start the exercise, the watch itself will recognize what you're trying to do or what you're doing and start measuring what it needs to measure by way of the activity that you are performing. So that's really interesting. It has swimming, it has running, it has all the things you can think of. So it's really good. Yeah, it also measures the body composition and uh, let's try and have a go at measuring body composition on this one. So it's uh, the usual way we measure composition on, on the watch 4. So it will ask for your height you know, and things like that. And then when you, when you say measure, it will ask you to put your hand on the two buttons. So once you put your hands on the two buttons, let it go a bit away from your body. And it will start recording. And you raise your arms and you let the watch go a little bit away from your body. And then it starts measuring. Yeah, there you go. yeah so yeah that's it and you can go to your results and yeah obviously a few things to do here for me <laughs> interesting yeah yeah but it has all these functions and you are able to improve on things that need improving it tracks your sleep as well 
and gives you a sleeping score just like the watch 4 but what is new here is the fact that over a consistent period of a week or so of king sleep measurements it will categorize you into like uh, an animal you know it has ranges of animal that it classifies and each animal it will require you to you know take certain steps to be able to improve your sleep and and ensure you're making the most of your sleep and rest so it measures blood pressure ecg so all these good things and obviously heart rate is measured as well yeah stress host of other functions yeah I will set up the blood pressure in ECG in a bit and we'll take you through that. But all in all, I think it's a very good watch and improvement we see in this year is within the battery area, a longer lasting battery than previously. So that's a welcome change. So for blood pressure measurement, you need to calibrate the watch five to ensure that whatever recording you have on the watch five, comes through on your blood pressure monitoring so let's begin to recalibrate so let's calibrate now yeah get started okay so let's follow the instructions it says we should put a watch yeah we have the watch on everything is fine but next you click on click on next and you get your blood pressure cuff on you which i have now so then the watch will automatically start but you need to time the start with the start of your monitoring as well so let's go and you need to stay quiet and still and you enter the recording in your in the phone so this is 138 72 Done. and then you confirm then we go again so yes and enter the details again yeah ideally the timing should be the same but it's quite difficult to time it the same because one finishes before the other if you see what i mean so you know it's on best effort basis ensuring it synchronizes so let me just probably wait a bit for the watch to start this thing for some time before i start the blood pressure monitor one so it's asking me to now start the blood pressure monitor one so okay it started let's start with this yeah and we enter this again so this is the third time we're entering and that should be it so we can be able to start now recording with the watch without the use of the blood pressure monitor so let's go with just the watch now and see what happens so measure Okay. There you go. So it's done the measurements. So let's just try and compare this and the monitor and see what the differences are at this stage.
Wow, that's a lot of difference, huh? So, difference of six on systolic and difference of five on diastolic. Wow, that's interesting. And the difference of one on the heart rate. Yeah, I guess you're likely to have these kind of slight differences between the two because, again, it's very difficult to get the timing of the two devices to be the same. So in this, our example, the blood pressure monitor one completed its task first before the watch. So between that timing difference alone, it, it could account for the difference you see on the readings. Yeah, but in general, I wonder how, you know, if you want a watch to measure your blood pressure, you still would have to calibrate with a blood pressure monitor every month. You know, it could have been something that is done once and the watch gets it until you decide to measure it again. But in this case, that's not how the watch is designed. You have to recalibrate every month. And so, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Measuring ECG then, you only go to the ECG menu and you click on record. Say, okay, you put your hands on the side. sinus rhythm so no sign of atria fibrillation and that's a good result so i guess um for all intent and purposes samsung wants you to use the watch for fitness purpose and not necessarily uh, a medical device replacing any advice or what's whatsoever so if you have any issues just see the doctors if you're new to the channel hit subscribe hit notification so you don't miss the next one and also just to inform you that we're giving away Galaxy Buds this time around, this month. And all you need to do is uh, comment on this video once you watch it. And make sure you subscribe to the channel and you'll be selected for the award. If you the one that comes up from our random selection. Thank you and see you in the next one. Bye.